Hello, you're welcome to solve this nice exponential equation solution from here. And what we have here, this follows what we have a raised to power m minus n. This same thing as a raised to power m over a raised to power n. That is, here we have 8 raised to power x over 8 raised to power 1 equals to 72 on this side. Then, this is same thing as h raised to power x over h raised to power 1 that's 8 and equals to here we can write this as 72 over 1 and next step here we cross multiply h raised to power x times 1 same thing as h raised to power x equals to 72 times 8 on this side the next step here we take the log on both sides that is we have log h raised to power x equals to log 72 times 8 and let's say we apply the power of log n when we have log m is to power p this same thing as p log m that is here we have x log 8 equals to log 72 times 8 here and next step here, divide both side by log 8. That is, divide this side by log 8. Also, divide this side by log 8. Which implies here, log 8 cancelled each other. We have x left, which is equal to log 72 times 8, then over log 8. And from here, this follows the law of logarithm. When we have log a times b, this same thing as log a plus log b. That is, what we have becomes x equals to log 72 plus log 8 over log 8. That is, from here, we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to log 72 over log 8 plus log 8 over log 8. Then from here, log 8 cancel each other. We have one left, which implies x equals to log 72 over log 8 plus 1 and also here 72 can be written as 8 times 9 that is here we have x now equals to log 8 times 9 over log 8 plus 1 and also here this follows the law of log ring and we have x i equals to log 8 plus log 9 over log 8 plus 1. Also here, we separate this into two fractions and this becomes x equals to log 8 over log 8 plus log 9 over log 8 plus 1. And here, log 8 cancel each other. We have 1 left. That is, x equals to 1 plus 1, then plus log 9 over log 8. Which implies, this gives us x equals to 1 plus 1, that's 2, then plus log 9 over log 8. Then, next step here. We can write 9 as 3 times 3, which is 3 square. Also, 8 as 2 times 2 times 2, which is 2 cube. And what we have becomes x equals to 2 plus log 3 square over log 2 cube. Then here we apply the power of logarithm. And here 2 comes here, 3 also comes here. And we have x equals to 2 plus 
two log three over three log two. And this also can be written as x equals to two plus two over three times log three over log two. And here we apply change of this. And when we have log a over log b, this is the same thing as log a to base b. That is here we have f equals to 2 plus 2 over 3 log 3 base 2. And here we can bring this together as one fraction. Here is 2 over 1 and we have x equals to SCM here as 3. And here becomes 6 plus 2 log 3 base 2. So here we have the value of x in this problem as 6 plus 2 log 3 base 2 all over 3. Then let's check here if they satisfy this given problem. That is, we substitute the value of x here, which is x equals to 6 plus 2 log 3 base 2 all over 3. Then what we have becomes 8 raised to the power 6 plus 2 log 3 is 2 all over 3 minus 1 is equal to 72 on this side. Then okay. here yeah, also we can bring this power together as well. This one over 1, that is we have 8 raised to the power SCM here plus 3. And here we still have 6 plus 2 log 3 base 2 then minus 3 n is equal to 72 on this side. And from here, 6 minus 3, that's 3. And we have 8 raised to the power 3 plus 2 log 3 base 2 all over 3 is it equal to 72 on this side. Then from here we can write it as 2 raised to the power 3, which is raised to the power 3 plus 2 log 3 plus 2 all over 3. Is this equals to 72 on this side? Then yeah, this power multiplies and 3 here cancel each other each other. The left is 2 raised to the power 3 plus 2 log 3 plus 2. Is it equal to 72 on this side? And here, this follows the law of indices. When we have a raised to the power m plus n, do the same thing as a raised to the power m times a raised to the power n. And this becomes 2 raised to the power 3 times 2 raised to the power 2 log 3 base 2. Is it equal to 72 on this side? And 2 raised to the power 3 here, yeah? that's the same thing as 8 times. We reverse this 2 from power law, and we have 2 raised to the power log 3 squared base 2. Is it equal to 72 on this side? That is, we have 8 times 2 raised to the power log 3 squared, that's 9 base 2. Is it equal to 72 on this side? And this follows on the law of log when well, we have a raised to the power log b to base a which is equals to b that is here yeah, the same thing as 9 8 times 9 is equals to 72 on this side and here yeah, 8 times 9 here give us 72 which is equals to 72 on this side then we have left hand side equals to the right hand side and therefore we conclude that x equals to 6 plus 2 log 3 raised 2 all over 3 satisfy this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget your steps. Subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell on. Share this video, give it a thumbs up, and put your comments. See you next class and bye for now.